this I have foundation splotches all over my shirt. We all knew this was gonna happen. Hey guys, so today's video is a little bit, a lot of bit different than the last video. It's not weird or crazy. I'm actually hoping that it's helpful in some way. I'm going to show you a look that I think would be fitting for a bridal shower or a baby shower. This is for the actual bride or mommy-to-be, not a guest, although guests could wear this as well. This video is more for people who don't have a set makeup look already. If you do have one, by all means, wear that. If you don't have one or you just want to be pointed in the right direction, then stick around. If you're into this kind of stuff, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Alright, I already have my brows and foundation done uh, and there is a reason for that. That I just didn't want to show you how to do it. No, but yeah, but no. The actual reason is that I don't think now is the time for you to play with your foundation and brow game. Go with what you're used to. There is going to be photos of you, presumably, taken at this party, so go with the coverage you like, go with the finish that you like as far as your brows. That's a huge part of what makes somebody feel comfortable or most like themselves, so I'm not going to recommend changing that. Just do it the way you normally would. But I will show you how I'm going to do my concealer. I'm going to try to keep with products that are reasonably priced um, for the most part. Some things are a little bit more, but probably worth the investment. But otherwise, I'm hoping that you can work with what you have or have the means to go out and purchase what you need. For concealer, I'm going to use the NYX HD Studio Photogenic. I'm going to apply it under my eyes, so this is going to help brighten things up, cover dark circles. And then I'm also putting some on my chin, and it's not so much to highlight it, but I have some redness where I'd like some extra coverage. And then I go in with my sponge, it's the same one that I use for my foundation, and I just kind of blend that in. I don't want to tap too much directly on the product, because I don't want it to lift off, but instead I'm just going to blend around the edges. And I'll go back in where I need some extra coverage and pat that in. Well, that's it. So the tones that I'm choosing to stick with are sort of the pinkier blush rosy tones, keeping it soft, pretty, gentle. So the perfect palette for this is the Naked 3 by Urban Decay. Okay, so going in with a fluffy shadow brush like this, the first color that I'm going in with is Strange. It's the lightest shade. And I apply it from the crease up to the brow bone. You don't have to be precise with this, it's just to give you a bit of a base. Next I'm taking this brush by Sephora, um, and it is a blending crease brush. Hey, just a quick disclaimer that what you're about to see, the lighting is making the palette look a little bit different. Almost grey-brown even, but it really is more of a pinky palette. I'm gonna go into the shade Limit, which is a light pinky shade. And just in the crease above your eyelid, I do swiping motions, and I'm literally going inner corner to outer corner, and I'm blending it up until about halfway to my eyebrow. This is just going to be a transition shade, so you don't have to worry about it being super dark or intense. Now I'm going into Nooner, which is more of a darker rosy, maybe mauve, and I'm focusing mostly on the outer corner. And then I'll blend it into the crease a bit. I won't take this right to the inner corner. I want it to stay on the outer corner, but I will blend into the crease up until about halfway from outer to inner. And this is all using the same brush as the last time, so. I am doing a bit of shimmer. I'm gonna go with the rose gold. So I'm going with this shade Trick. And I'm just dipping my finger in instead of using a brush. And then I pat it onto my eye. This just helps it go on a little bit more intense. When you use a brush, it sort of diffuses it and you don't want it to look diffused and then if you have sort of a smaller brush whether it's flat fluffy doesn't matter you just want it to not be huge i'm using this brush by morphe it's m152 i'm going into this shade dust and i'm just putting it on the inner corners now going back to my blending crease brush going back into Nooner, and I'm going under the lash line. I don't want this to be a harsh line, that's why I'm using a fluffier brush for this. And that's it for the shadow. So now I'm using the NYX Gel Liner and Smudger. This is in the color Jet Black. I'm taking a teeny tiny little detail brush like this, 
and I'm just going along the lash line with it. I'm not going to do a wing. And you kind of smudge it out. And you don't want the liner to be too thick or overpowering. Like mine is on the other eye. Again, we mostly just want it there for a bit of lash definition. And we're not going to do any liner underneath. We've already put the shadow there to kind of frame our eye. And that's as far as we want to go with that. Next, you're going to curl your lashes. Mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Waterproof. I always use this on clients. The waterproof aspect is super important. There's likely going to be tears, and at the very least, if you're hot and sweaty, you don't want any smudging. I hope to God I'm not the only one who gets hot and sweaty in situations like this. You're gonna put mascara on the bottom lashes as well. And that's it for the eyes. So as far as the skin goes, we want it to be sun-kissed, radiant, glowing, but I'm not gonna use the word dewy because I don't want you to look oily or sweaty. I'm using Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm using this tapered face brush by Sigma, it's F25. So I always start with the cheeks in the hollows and just above. It's gonna be a little bit of contouring, but nothing too intense. We want it to look more sun-kissed than anything. So we don't want anything to look too harsh. Everything needs to be soft and blended. Take it up to the temples and the forehead just along the hairline. Using the same brush, I put a little bit on the sides of my nose, but very, very minimal. I just don't want my nose to be overly light in comparison. So the next thing that we're gonna do is blush. We're sticking with the pinky blush tones. So this is the Milani Baked Blush and it is in the color Dolce Pink. This blush has a little bit of a glow to it as well, so it's just gonna help us with that radiant look. The brush that I'm using is the Sephora Pro Precision Powder. You can smile if it helps you find where to put it because you need to put it on the apples of your cheeks. So start here. I always apply with a light hand and I can go back in and intensify it if I need to. And blend it in with the contour that you've put on. So this last one is a highlighter. You don't have to use the highlighter that I'm using. It is more expensive. I just like that it's not too intense. It's not too crazy. I don't want a white strip down my face. F35. Going in with my Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. And you just put that at the high parts of your cheekbones. But I don't look sweaty, I don't look oily, I don't look like a tin can. Now I am going to set my face. The one that I want to show you today, I'm using it for this video specifically because it is supposed to be a radiant finishing powder. So this is the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. What is this? Luminous powder. <laughs> In, in the shade Brighten Up. And I'm actually using the Jaclyn brush as well. I got this from Morphe, it's the J01. It's the kind of brush that is supposed to be used with this powder. This shirt is gonna be garbage at the end of this video. I'm applying it kind of anywhere that I didn't apply other product. Right here by my nose, on my nose, really work it into my mustache. So the last step would be lips. I'm gonna suggest keeping this a little bit on the nude to pinky side. I'm going to show you two products that I'm using. The first one is a NYX lip liner in nude suede shoes. This is going to be matte. I'm going to cover the entire lip. This part's pretty straightforward. Trace your lip and then fill it in. I'm going to add something on top. It is the YSL number 10. And then I'm going in with a lip brush. This one's from Sephora. I use any lip brush. Okay, forgive me, I forgot to put on the false eyelashes, so we're gonna do that now. The lashes that we're using are Kiss Lashes number 11. You can get them at Walmart, and I use these on all of my brides as well. We're gonna use the Duo Brush On Lash Adhesive. It's just easy to control, and it's latex-free, so if you have any allergies, it shouldn't bother you. Can you not? If you wake that baby up, I swear. Well, at least we made it this far without my dog freaking out. And then I place it more in the center of the lid. And I go in and I fix the edges. Ta-da! Okay guys, that's it. This is the finished look. I hope you found it helpful, informative. At the very least, I hope it helped you kill some time if that's all you were trying to do. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I hope you find your way back at some point.